Brandy Lovely. I'm coming to check in to give my new predictions on the No Holds Barred um, card that they just announced. And oh my God, I'm loving that entire card. But before I do that, I'll give my um, winners on this previous card. So, um... There was some battles that I just didn't really watch. Like I didn't watch. I watched them, but they were they were okay. They were cool. The caskets or classics. Um, Dawn Lady versus Stargirl Lady Red. I called that Dawn Lady easy. Um, Miss Merck versus who did she battle? Karma Kane. I think she battled y'all. Did y'all see Karma Kane's third round? What the hell was she doing? What? 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 I, they was like, she scared the shit. She scared me too, cause I didn't know why she was doing all that yelling. But she's horrible. She's she's she needs some work. Um, if I was Miss Merck, I wouldn't have taken her. Miss Merck got that like by a landslide. Like now, don't get me wrong. Karma Kane had like Karma Kane had like a solid first round. Her first round was good, but second and third round she was just. But and then her first round wasn't even enough for Merck's. Like. If y'all seen Miss Mark versus Farrah, like, I don't even know why they gave her Karma Kane again. It, that really didn't make no sense. Rematch, whatever. Oh, so the only classic that I found on the card was C3 versus Official. Daylight and 40 were good. They were good. So, I mean, it, it's intergender uh, first three round on Queen of the Rings. So, you can definitely say it's a classic. Entertainment-wise, performance-wise, bar-wise, all that, like that, I just watched it over and over and over and over again. And I'll watch it again and be entertained each time. It's C3 versus Official. That was definitely the main, main event on that uh, classic or casket um card because my god like all my predictions i said that i wouldn't you know um uh, call that one that's the only one that i wouldn't call because c3 is nice like now everybody on the c3 train you know what i'm saying go look at my prediction video i always said i like c3 and also official is nice now who did I edge it to? Because that's the only thing you do is edge it. Anybody saying that that battle was a 3-0 either way, y'all mind and y'all biased as hell and y'all need to stop it. Because both ladies, they did good and they both won at the end of the day. Like, that battle was nice. So, um, but I edged it to C3. And the only thing that made me edge it to C3 was her rebuttals. And, um... That that's probably about what what took it for me was the rebuttals, and her being that skills. I'm sorry, that freestyling and everything. That's something that I like to see. Um, so it's all about your preference. I prefer the rebuttals and everything. Like C three's third, I don't see how official couldn't come out back and say anything. You know, she kind of didn't. I don't know. It was just like flat after that. So which round did I give C three? I gave her the first and the third. The third was incredible like c3's third like she killed official and the whole flat line hemi boogie focus shout out to focus i went to school with him um so she killed the whole t riley she killed the whole flat line her third was just she was beasting like she, i think she kind of knew like damn you know so I gave her the first and the third. The second was her only one that you could kind of say, and she kind of slacked off. But if you if you being biased, you could say C three three O. Official had great rounds, and she had great bars. Like I'm serious, like I had to rewind and rewind and rewind and rewind to catch some of her stuff because you know, first of all, I don't know nothing about no guns, so you know, I be having to rewind to catch to see what she's saying. So. Um, but she had some dope rounds, so if I would give her a round, I would give her second round. But I'm team official all the way. Like, I love official. I live in Louisiana, so I'm team official all the way. She putting on for New Orleans. She she doing her thing. So, I love official, and um, she did great. But I just edged it to C3 uh, on the rebuttals performance and stuff like that alone. I think C3 really did outperform official. I, I really honestly do. So... Oh, and 40 and Daylight. Look, I was about to go on a no holes bar card. 40 and Daylight. Um, I can say this. 40 bars. Y'all know I'm team 40. Y'all, I love me some 40 bars. Um, first and second and third rounds. Now, to me, I don't know if y'all was watching, but when I was watching the damn battle was blurry. And I'm like, okay, because you know sometimes when you two first start off, it's blurry, but it'll straighten up. But like, it was all throughout the battle, it was blurry. So that was kind of aggravating. Um, the editing in the third round during Daylight's 
third round was horrible. I'm not saying because we didn't see the D, because I don't want to see that anyway, but just the way it was edited, it just looked all over the place. Maybe he was all over the place. I don't know. So, third round definitely gave it to 40. First and second rounds. First round, I gave it to Daylight. I gave first round to Daylight. Like, I did not expect Daylight to come out and go hard like that on 40. Like, I did not expect him to, like, bitch. Like, I just, like, he, whoa. Like, I don't see how y'all, first round, definitely gave it to Daylight. Second round, so it comes down to the second round. So, third round, I gave it to 40. Because Daylight's third round was kind of all over the place. Editing-wise, I wasn't in the building. I don't know. Footage-wise, I gave that one to 40. First round, footage-wise, I gave that to Daylight. Easy. Second round, 42nd round was dope. 42nd round was dope. I preferred all the stuff that Daylight did in the second round with the Bible and all of that. So I gave him the second 2-1. I got Daylight. But again, it's on what you prefer. Nobody got 3-0 for y'all saying Daylight 3-0 and uh, cause Daylight couldn't 3-0 because he he gave her the third round. So but again I picked Daylight for that one. It was a good battle. Um I, and the only thing about 40, I just thought she would come way... I think she had some shit. I think she had some shit. But, like, the Daylight name flips, like, if you watch some of the Daylight Battles, like, some people have done that already. So, um, but other than that, I like 40. Like, she's dope. Like, she's one of my top girls. So, it is what it is. She did great. Shout out to 40 for that battle. All right, on to the June 2014 card. No hoes barred. Yes, Debo, Vague, Babs, whoever had a hand, all the girls that signed up for this card. <laughs> fucking right. Y'all, I'm so ready to see this. I am so ready to see this. So, I'm just going to start on the ones. And they they all main events. You can't say nobody's the undercard, the underdog, the under nothing. These are all top girls on this card like these are all girls we know we've seen over and over they bar heavy performance aggression jokes anything you want to see every girl in this no hoes bar card have it and i'm so ready to see it um i'm gonna call some of them but some of them i won't call so um the very first one is tori doe versus c3 c3 just came off of a crazy battle with official I mean, that battle was great. I just explained to y'all why I feel that battle was great. I was shocked to see her get Tori Doe, and I'm not going to lie. Um, not to take anything away from Tori Doe because she's nice, but we all know you're only as good as your last battle. We haven't seen Tori Doe on Queen of the Rings since she battled 40. She lost. Tori Doe even went on Vlad TV and said she lost, so 40 got that battle. Um... She did good against Chrissy Yamaguchi, but, you know, Chrissy Yamaguchi, she act like she don't want to battle. So, that was, you kind of knew Tori Doe was going to have that one. I haven't seen any other Tori battles. I haven't checked for them, but she might have some more. But Tori Doe versus C3, Tori Doe's dope. Um, I'm just going to go with C3 on that one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to go with C3 on that one. C3's on fire right now. I think she, um... Official was a hard opponent. If I had to put official against Tori Doe, official over Tori Doe, and C3 just took official and I gave it to her, so I can say I say she can easily get Tori, like easy, you know, like Tori. What does swag do for you? No, I'm joking, but um, shout out to Tori Doe. Um, but I'm gonna just go with C3 on that one, easy. Easy, I'm gonna give it to C3. It might be a two. I'm not gonna say Tori Doe's gonna get 3 0 because Tori Doe's nice, but I'm just gonna go with C3 on that one. That's my prediction on that one. E Heart versus Young Gaddis. First and foremost, E Heart and Young Gaddis are on my top list of girls, so that one I'm not even gonna call that one because people be sleeping on E Heart, y'all. E Heart is a beast. I don't care what nobody say. E Heart is nice. Um. Gaddis is nice. Gaddy killed Gaddy. Gaddis killed Bonnie. Um definitely want to mention that Gaddis killed Bonnie. Um at King of the Dot. So um we haven't seen E Heart since she battled Shayna Ashley, I believe. Um, but either way it goes, on that one, who who would I pick? E Heart over Gaddis or Gaddis over E Heart? Um the only thing with E-Heart, sometimes she be fucking up. Sometimes she be choking, but she come right back and, you know, she do a thing. Um, so on that one, whew, I'm going to go with Gaddis. I'm going to say Gaddis over E-Heart. 
But not to take nothing away from Eheart, like I said, she's a beast. Just sometimes, you know, she might have a bad round here and there. Um, Miss Misfit versus Bonnie. I'm gonna go with Misfit. I'm not even gonna lie. Bonnie, Bonnie's nice. You can't take anything away from Bonnie. Bonnie, you know, she battles. She she do her fucking thing. But um. I just think on some of Bonnie's last ones that we seen sticking to, you know, I think she lost to Young Gaddis. Um, she lost to Forty. I think she lost to Lex Banco. Um, some of the other ones that I've seen, I can't recall. Don't, you know, I can't recall. But I think Bonnie's kind of like on the... She's nice. You can't take anything away from Bonnie. But I think she lost to Lex. She lost to 40. She lost to Gaddis. Not clearly, but once you go through the rounds and uh, what you prefer, in my opinion, she's lost three. So she might come out swinging. Who knows? But I'm going to say Misfit over Bonnie. I'm going to give it to Misfit on that one. Official versus KOTOR. Now, this is one. This is going to be one of the cards that I'm not going to call. I'm not going to call that one at all. Let me tell you why. Official is nice. Official is nice. Her card with C3 was classic as fuck. Um, Couture is nice. And I feel like some of the girls duck Couture. I think it's because of her props and things that she does and they don't want to take her. So shout out to Official for taking Couture. Um, Couture versus Norma Bates. Damn. Dorber Bates is in somebody's body bag and a body bag and a body bag somewhere, in my opinion, because, golly, if, if y'all didn't see that battle, Couture's round with the Freddie and Jason, done. Y'all see how tight Norma Bates was? Norma Bates wanted to fight Couture. Like, it was done. Anyways, um, so that's one I'm not going to call. It just depends on what Couture pulls out the hat that day. It could, it depends on what kind of tricks Couture put. She puts on a show. Y'all could say, you know, oh, we don't like props, blah, blah, blah. we don't like gimmicks or whatever you want to say. But the way Couture do it, like, is nice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Her rounds be long as hell, but it's nice. So, official versus Couture, I'm not going to call that one. If I wanted a preferred winner, I don't know. I'm not even going to do that one. So, y'all let me know y'all got on official versus Couture. Jazz the Rapper versus 40 Bars. About freaking time. Um, the only thing that I can say about this one, Jazz doesn't battle a lot. You know, um, but she has, you know, battling isn't like her main thing. Like, she's a schoolgirl. She goes to school. She makes that clear. Um, so, I don't know. Her versus Hustle. I wouldn't even give it to anybody. Um, they're not two of my favorites. They're not in my top personally. I think they're awesome ladies and they battle awesome like they you can't take anything away from hustle or jazz but they're not on my top they're not what i prefer to see and maybe just because they don't battle a lot like you know and i'll be looking for these battles to come out so i mean they just, they just don't oversaturate themselves so in that one um you know i heard hustle choked and with that being said jazz everybody that goes up against jazz chokes and she says that in her rounds you know like when it gets to the third they choke so um, and that has come to fruition in each of her battles. We've never seen 40 Choke since Ema X. So, um, I don't know. Not to say a choke equals a, a loss, but it just looks bad. You know, it's like, it depends on how you recover from it. So, Jazz versus 40. Um, I, pref preference wise, I'm going to go with 40 bars. Just, just my preference. Um, again, not to take anything away from Jazz, but I'm just going to go with 40 bars. Fair Funeral versus QB. QB easy. That's just who I got. I think Farrah is dope. I like Farrah. I think they both match each other in aggression and performance. Hells, yeah. They, they both got that. I think they're just bars wise. I'm just going to pick QB. And QB is my top girl. If I had to put anybody at number one, QB is my number one. So maybe I'm being biased. And we're going to see once we, you know, once the card is there. So y'all let me know who y'all got. No Holes Bar, June 2014, Queen of the Ring. Shout out to all the girls. I like all the girls. Like I said, salute to all of y'all because some people couldn't get there and do that. And all of y'all are nice. All the girls, no matter of opinions or whatever when it comes to battle rap, all the girls are dope. Um, yeah, so y'all let me know y'all predictions and who y'all got.